Okay, let's go through the RGB split tutorial. The first thing you want to do is to line up your clips. So in this case, I actually have a, a two keyframe transition just because I'm going to uh, do a RGB transition uh, to the second clip. So I did put a cross dissolve. You drag the cross dissolve here and then you set it up to two frames. Okay, so let's start with the RGB effect. So you're going to need a Sapphire plugin and you need two of the plugins. You're going to need S Warp Chroma and then you're going to need S Shake. Okay, I also recommend you set up keyframes. So let's set this one up. Let's turn off the shake for now. First thing is to adjust the Z distance. So that's going to give a more pleasing uh, effect here with the uh, RGB split, okay? The other thing we want to do is to set some of the defaults, the reflect here for X and Y wrap. And then from here, it's just around customizing it. So I found that the lower the number of steps, the better you can see the split, the RGB split. So I usually set it around three, somewhere between three to eight, depending on how I set up my zoom. And then what you want to do is probably go out uh, several keyframes out, and then I usually just turn it off. Okay? And so since I'm recording the keyframes, it sets it there. I'm going to record the second corrector also, and let's turn on the shake. Usually with shake, I just leave it at uh, the default value. Sometimes I do add a motion blur, but right now I'm just going to, let's see, turn it on, and then we'll just turn it off. So let's look at that real quick. We're going to loop this and see how it looks. Looks like I need to turn it off at the beginning. So let's go here to the beginning. Uh, I'll just make sure we turn it off. Same thing for the RGB effect. We'll turn it off. So let's try that again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just a couple of notes. Sometimes what I do is I will adjust, add a little motion blur, especially as you're doing a transition. So I'm going to drag these keyframes over to the end here. That way I have the motion blur as I'm transitioning out. So let's just assume that we're going to go from here to the next clip and actually since I'm transitioning I can actually remove that I don't need to turn off the effect just need to turn it on and so I've got the motion blur I'm going to actually add a little additional shake what I found is when you're transitioning to another clip if you bump this up a little these two uh, values amplitude and the frequency it uh it really has a nice uh effect as it transitions to the next clip. Okay, so let's try this playing this. I've already set up the second clip to, to uh, match it and let's see how it looks as it transitions. Looks good. So that's all you have to do. It's very easy to get the RGB split effect. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and look forward to the next tutorial. Peace.